Today we're going to be working on geometric sequences. Room town of Spalding, the kids ignored a half-eaten chicken salad sandwich which was hidden under the bed. With the heat and moisture, bacteria began to grow and it grew on the sandwich at a geometric rate. After the first hour, there was a bacteria count of three. After two hours, there was 7.5 bacteria that were growing on it. After three hours, there was 18.75 bacteria. And after four hours, there was 46.875 bacteria. And finally, five hours, there was 117.1875 bacteria. These numbers represent a geometric sequence. So here we've written out the geometric sequence. 3, 7.5, 18.75, 46.875, So now we have to find the seed number. That's the number that starts the sequence. So if we look, it's going to be 3, because that's our first number. Then we have to think about the constant ratio. This is the number you multiply each number by to get the next number. So 3 times what number will give us 7.5? 3 times 2.5 gives us 7.5. 7.5 times 2.5 gives us 18.75, and so on. So our ratio is 2.5. Here are two more examples. The first one, 12, 8, 16 thirds, 32 ninths, and 64 twenty-sevenths is a geometric sequence. Our seed is 12, and our ratio, if you look closely, it's going to be a fraction and it's going to actually be two-thirds. So if we divide 12 by 3, we get 4. Multiply it by 2, we get 8. If we divide 8 by 3 and multiply it by 2, we get 16 thirds, so on and so forth. Now our next example, we have a seed of 64. And there's something special about our constant ratio. It happens to be a negative number because we go from positive to negative, positive to negative, positive, and so on. So our ratio is going to be a negative 3 halves. Now, I'd like you to try some on your own. So I'd like you to create two of your own geometric sequences and identify the seeds as well as the constant ratios.